Okay, this is uh, a video on Worship Tools uh, Presenter. Worship Tools, this is the icon. This is, now it's going to open up. And you'll have to have uh, made a, a username, password to get in. So ours is Corpus Church Media Team. Uh, when it opens up, this is what it looks like. Here is the recent. Obviously, when you open it up, you won't have the recents. So you'll have something else. Um, you can hit the quick start, a tour, new queue list, open queue list, song, slides, media. Okay. This is a, a very good program, and it's a part of a trio of programs. So it's presenter, planning, as well as music stand. Okay. Um, and the way we use it, we use it for our announcements, use it for our Sunday school, for our concerts, uh, pretty much uh, whatever we need to present at church. So I'll show you. And presenter, the free version, has uh, some limitations. And the limitations are you can have 15 cues. So a cue is what you want to go up. Not 15 things, but 15 cues. So for instance, if you go to our worship, we have announcements. Announcements has, um, here's our announcements. So we have nine slides. So it doesn't matter how many things are in your queue list. Like, like you can have 15 queues, but for the free version, but inside each queue, you can have more than one item, if that makes sense. Then our prayer requests, these are our prayer requests. And then our songs. So if you can, you can kind of see down here, this is, um, it shows you what they're going to see out on your TVs or your projector screen. This is what they'll see. And so as the, you're singing or, you know, whatever they're doing, they just click on it. It automatically, it cycles through, it changes. And it's a video. So you can see the video and the background. And um, you, you see it down here. You can see, the, you can see it moving. Uh, and so those are our songs. And it's really easy to put in songs. Um, and then this is like our Sunday school. So this one is a PowerPoint that we inserted in. Uh, another really good thing that you can do with um, presenter is you can add uh, videos, like a YouTube video. Uh, if you're going to show, you know, something at church, like a little illustration, you just hit add cue and you come here. And then you see here your background is going to be media, web page, web video or video feed. So you could do a web video. And then when you hit set video, you just put your URL. So your YouTube URL. When you hit there, you hit save, and then it would show. So it's really, I mean, excellent program for being free. And even for not being free, it's an excellent program. So now let me show you how it kind of works. So um, let's say we're going to add a song. So let's say um, we're going to go to Precious Cornerstone and we're going to change the song. Okay. So what you would do is go to edit queue or right here, the little pencil. This is edit queue and that is edit queue. They're the same thing. So you click it. And now let's say um, you don't like the video. You want to change the video. You can just click, click this and you change it and you can add whatever videos you have. So um, let's say we want to put this as our new video. And now that's going to be the background. And the thing about this program that is really good is the the background and the words are independent of each other. So now we just changed the background video, but now we're going to actually change the song. So if you click here and you hit change song, you can pick another song. So let's say uh, we're going to do Your Love Never Fails. Okay. So now when you come here or you hit here launch, either one. Uh, now there it is. And if you look at the video down here, it shows you what's happening. Uh, you could go through the words, cycle through them. And that's what's happening on your other screen. You know, your main screen, this is what's happening on your TVs. Um, but remember, so they're independent of each other. Now let's say, uh, you're like, I don't like that video. So you just hit edit Q or the, or the pencil icon. And you change your video background. You hit click to change. And then you can change your video. We're going to, let's say we're going to do oceans. So this is what the video looks like. 
and then um and here when you do your video this tells you like if you want to stretch it scale it you want to flip it you want to loop the video yes we want to loop the video the playback speed so you're like we're doing a fast song that's too slow so you can speed it up or slow it down okay and then um so it's really nice okay uh launch and there it goes now it's changed the background is different but same song different background okay that's for every one of them and this is the video that they see so we started off with a blank screen and then it goes to the words but um because you can see everything in front of you it's very easy to click through the song okay and then um so here's your blood speaks a better word and um so let's say um as they're singing they're just clicking through it you know you're just going through the song um and that's how that works. And then the vid this is the video. That's the background. So let's say you say, I want to change it. You just hit edit and you do the same thing. Change your video. Okay, well, I don't want that now. I want this to be my video. And hit launch and there it is. Okay, now let's say, and these are if you're changing these, but let's say you're going to add a new one completely. You see how this is our main background here and we're going to add uh lyrics now we're gonna add the song we're gonna do something else so if you hit lyrics so now that's where you can pick the song so this is going through you know let's say we're gonna do evermore but we want a video in the background because this is just a picture so you click here and then now you pick your uh video okay so if you hit launch now see how it completely changes so there's your next song okay that's the next song. And um, if you hit edit Q, not only can you edit that, but let's say somebody typed the wrong words. So you go to edit every, um, let me return. Okay, go back. So here is where you change the song to pick another song, but here is where you can actually edit the words there. So these are the slides. Okay. Um, and there it goes. So it, it'll, you can, um, change it and then go back okay so let's say um, we're gonna change this and to make it two lines and you hit save and then now when you launch it it's two instead of one you see how it looks on the screen now so um, it's very easy to use a very easy program okay now we don't just use it for our song service we also use it for the sermon but like I said, there can only be 15 and, you know, pastor's not going to have only five scriptures. Right. So you go back to presenter. And what we do is we have our worship, but we also have another one we make called sermon and scriptures. If you click that now, it's going to let's go to the uh, last uh, sermon pastor preach. So moving God's hand, proclaiming a fast. These are his points. So what we did is we have a queue where it has the points. And um, you go down and see it says um, change presentation or edit sermon title slides. And that's when we go in. So you'll, they'll put the title here and then they'll put point one, point two, point three. OK, since nothing changed, uh, you just can go back. Now, his scriptures, he these are the scriptures. He put Ezra, uh, three scriptures in Ezra. So if you hit edit Q, you can go in. And now you can pick, um, let's say it wasn't Ezra, let's say it's Psalms. And he's going to do, and here it says from, so this is the, from Psalms 3, and this is the verse. Let's say he's going to do from Psalms 3.3, 3, and he's going to go to Psalms verse uh, chapter 3, and he's going to go to verse 8. And now when you hit launch, see it just switched it. So now... Uh, if you look down at the bottom over here, you can see, and up here, it's, now it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's uh, seven scriptures, okay, seven scriptures, um, and, but even though you can have 15 cues, it didn't add to the cue because since he did it, you know, they were in a line. So let's say his next one, see how this one, he did Matthew 16 through 34, so it was long, but... Uh, when you click it, you go through, you know, they can, uh, everybody will see on the screen your, your, the, the 
as you're preaching, as long as your person is following and it'll go through. Okay. Uh, then the next one was Matthew 7, 7 through 8. And then the last one was Luke 4, 1 through 14. Okay. But even though you can have only 15 cues, it's still okay because all those scriptures were here. So that's how we do it to bypass, like to keep it free. Um, we just, and when you hit this presenter here at the top, it takes you back to the main one so you can select. So let's say we do a concert, uh, what we do, we call it the hangout. And that's our uh, background. So you see down here how it's a video. So anytime when they're singing or rapping or whatever, uh, we have this in the background. And if we wanted to show a video, let's say um, if you see down here, well here you cannot see it but if let me show you on the other screen so bear with me you're going to see something funny but watch okay so there's the video this is what's actually projecting out onto the screen so this is from um pastor warner's church it's a skit so we showed up the skit during the concert and it showed up on that screen so what uh bear with me i'm gonna go back so let me turn it off see i'm gonna hit pause or turn off or whatever and you can go to the back to over here you could do that during your sermon too just add a video okay uh this week I'm and this is another video let me turn that one off okay so uh it's really interesting uh, it's a great program. Okay. So what we do also is we do uh, trivia for like a review. And the, like, let's say the Wednesday when they go back to church, what pastor preached about uh, before church starts, there's a, a quiz going and it's running through. So just kind of like to refresh people what the sermon was, the points. Okay. Um, and if you hit edit queue, you can hit edit sermon slide or the trivia slides and then that's where they come in you know the media people and they will like that's our was the scripture and there it is you know filled in and then um it's really it it worked it, we're just trying to see how people like it um and the media guy will go back and fill it in and do more and have it ready but that's the trivia so sermon and scriptures sunday worship and pretty much that's how it works. There's a lot more details, but that's how we use it in our church. And if you, I'll send you, um, I'll post um, links underneath the video so you can see, you know, anything else that you want to see about, you know, learning. Because there's a lot of different things. Because, like, for instance, let's say here, when you edit the queue, we can actually, um, when we edit it, up here you see how there this is this will change how it looks so bible words default gray see how it's you can't really see it lower third so if you're projecting it up um you know on over your videos um oops cancel okay then uh trendy line you can do it like this white over dark white over light and we use that so those are templates you can make templates but i'm not going to go into all that in this video you can, they have videos that show you how to make templates and i'll put that under there and um and then uh, another thing you can um see like this is the song your love never fails that's how it starts but if you see this at the bottom here it says set custom order you can put the order of the song like let's say they didn't put it all in so slide one, slide two, you can add it. I want slide one to go first. Then I want slide two. Then I want, you know, you can order it up however you want. You can change the order. So that way you don't have to put in, um, let's say the chorus 10 times, ch type it out. You just put the order over here. Okay. So I'm going to hit undo and I don't want to mess up whatever the uh, tech media people have done, but that's another thing you can do with it. You can change it around. So and the announcements, um, the way I made them was with my media program. So these are not just things that are going to be there. Oh, something you do need to learn. Okay. It doesn't come with all of this. Uh, it doesn't come with all the videos. So you have to add videos. So how would you add a video? You would go right here to media. Okay. So see how it says, um, 
Oh, the, the five minute countdown didn't, that's fine. Okay. So let's say for instance, um, I'm going to delete this, delete it. Okay. And then, um, like let's, this was last week's sermon because we make our own backgrounds for every sermon. So we delete it that way it can, um, we have, we save room because it only gives you 50 megabytes, I believe. And so, um, let's see. Oh, how to add. So if you go here to import media and you click it, so now you can find your video. Okay. So let's say for instance, we're going to go, um, uh, over here and we're going to go, this is where I get my videos, Pixabay. Okay. And if you click here and explore, it goes to videos and these are free videos. So, uh, if, let's say, you know, what kind of video you want. That's what video you would download. Let's say the song, you know, um, I don't know what kind of video. Let's say you want to do, uh, oh, it's winter time. So let's do some, find some winter videos. Okay. So now you can pick a video that will be your background for your songs. Okay. Um, so let's say we're going to do this one. Okay. And you see right here where it says uh, free download, you click it and then see how this is bigger remember i told you, you only get 50 megabytes so you don't want to pick something that's the hugest you can't pick these because they won't fill it up but the 1280 by 720 will you hit download and then it's going to download so let me move this i'm just going to put it in um downloads okay snowy trees all right so now when i go back to my presenter and I'm going to import media and I'm going to go to downloads and there's snowy trees hit open and next there it is. So let's say we're going to go to your love never fails. Now we're going to remember, we're going to edit the cue, the little pencil, and we're going to click to change it. And we're going to add the snowy trees. Now, when we hit launch, this is the background and you can see in the left side that the, what the video looks like uh, in the background as the song is going. So pretty cool, right? So that's what you would do. Uh, you can even do it from here. So if you hit edit queue and you click to change and you can just go here to import media and add it. Okay. And um, let's see. They also have free stills. They have motions. Uh, I, I don't think they're all free. Only like one or two of them and templates. But I think you have to pay for their program to get all of this. Uh, so this one will let you create a presentation, but some of them you'll have to uh, so you have to upgrade to unlimited or purchase it for $7. So we don't do that. We just make our own. Um, but that's how it works. So, oh, um, you don't have any songs in there. So you would have to get songs. So we, um, we are members of song select, so we can get songs from them, but, uh, it, we didn't used to be. So what we did is we just imported our songs from our previous program. We had easy worship. So, um, but let's say you don't have any songs that you can import from and you're not a song select. So you would hit create new, name the song, test song. Okay, and hit create. And then you create a new slide. So this is going to be slide one. Okay, and you see how, see it says white over light, but let's say I want to do trendy line. That would be it. So then you hit next and new slide. So this is slide two new slide so this is basically where you type your words you know slide oops oh my goodness slide four or um let's say you wanted to do a song and you have the word somewhere so you could just minimize it copy the song the, the lyrics and put them in here mm, that's how you make it so if i hit save so that was test song now i can go here to your love never fails and i'm going to change the song and I'm going to find my test song. And now when you go here and you launch it here or there, this is what it is. It, it, slide one, slide two, slide four. Oh, I forgot to put slide three. Ha. But anyways, that's how you make a new song. Put a new song in. 